Without water, there would be no life. Whether it's on the reservation or anywhere else. We don't have safe drinking water, so we buy water. The Warm Springs tribe here in Eastern Oregon, it's about 5,000 people, and they've had very high levels of arsenic for a really long time. And we're having to drive great distances to go procure water. The tribe was struggling to provide water to our members. If we could make water a distributed infrastructure free resource and do that in a way that was renewable and accesses the atmospheric ocean above our heads, that could change the trajectory of humanity. Creating water out of the thin air, not by magic, but uh, by a, basically a condensation process. I'm a material scientist. And so the question became, could we use a materials approach to take water vapor from its dilute form in air and concentrate it in a way that enabled us to then use sunlight to make liquid water? They brought in the first few panels and put them in, and it worked. It was fantastic. Can you hear them running? About 2.4 billion people on this planet don't have access to safe water at their homes. Sources installed in 52 countries around the world, on six continents. Our vision is to perfect water for every person, every place. In Warm Springs, Oregon, we've now installed an array of 600 source hydro panels that feeds water in a community center where the community can fill up jugs. When we solve water, the knock-on effects are dramatic. It enables people to have agency over their lives if they've previously been dealing with waterborne illness or having to fetch water. We're not just solving water, but we're also generating capacity. I mean, it's safe drinking water. It's just the best thing that I think Warm Springs has ever done.